Yo, what is up? What's going on with all you travel hunters out there? It's your boy, Dangerous Dave. Yep, that's right, baby. Bet you guys didn't expect to see this ugly mug, right? <laughs> I just want to start off, guys, by saying I apologize. I know it's been, uh, it's been almost a year. It's been, what, about seven months since I've been out on the water with any content for you guys. And, um... I'm going to explain the reasoning for that to you guys right now. So, as a lot of you guys know, follow me on Instagram. I lost my job and we were staying with family. Well, that uh, kind of didn't work out. You know, we uh, overstayed our welcome. Now we're doing the motel thing. So, we're staying in the motel. And uh, it's just been hard for me to even find time to get out onto the water, guys. Between trying to figure out what I'm going to do and uh work you know what i mean i, I work long hours uh I work from what six o'clock at night till five o'clock in the morning and it was very tiring you know what i mean it's like you get off work you just want to go home and lay down man but uh another thing guys is a lot of my gear i lost it a lot of it broke luckily for me going through all my stuff i uh ended up finding my uh my fishing bag most of my rods broke so my my creaker custom snapped uh three berkeley lightning rods broke so you know i've just been down and out guys and it's really hard to try to find the money when you're, when you're trying to save up for deposits and credit checks and all that stuff for apartments you know to go out and waste 100 bucks on fishing gear and then 40 bucks in gas to get there to go fish and then come home and bust your hump to go to work you know so i've uh i've just been really tired and uh stressed out guys and finally i just figured you know the heck with it man i need to get out there get on the water and clear my mind dude so i uh headed up to walmart and i bought a little shakespeare micro series ultra like seven foot rod and i got that for like 22 dollars and uh in my backpack i had one of my shimano sienna 500 reels I think it had some P-Line three-pound test on it. And that's usually what I usually what I keep on it. Some pretty good cheap line. So I uh, grabbed a couple cast masters and uh, headed out to the water, guys. Now I went out there on a limb. Uh, my boy Frank did show me that he caught a seven-pounder like the day before. So uh, you know that that got my blood flowing, boy. That got me juiced. So I headed out there, guys, and. Uh, that's enough of me talking, you know what I mean? You guys are here to watch me fish. You guys ain't here to watch me jibber-jabber about what's going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? And if so, you guys can hit me up in the comments and ask me. I do appreciate all you guys sticking with me throughout these times, even though I haven't posted a video. I, uh, oh, also, another thing, too, guys, is um, my phone broke. And as you guys know, I, I record on my iPhone. So my phone broke, and uh, I just haven't had the money to replace it or the camera to record so there we go guys i took my wife's phone went out <laughs> that's right i took her phone and that was not a good idea now nah, i'm playing guys she let me take her phone to get out there get a video going for you guys and uh yeah that's enough talking y'all let's get to fishing right to the next hunt i'm out all right guys so i literally just ran up to the car the wife and kids because it is way too cold out here and as you guys can see, we got a bobber up, baby. We have a bobber up. Let's see, I don't think he's still on there, though. Uh, let's see. There we got him. Oh. Yep, we got him, guys. Yeah, ran all the way up to the car. This guy was just swimming around with a, with a hook in his face. <laughs> He's not really putting up much fight. It must be too cold. Oh, you're just a little DFG stop. It's all right. That's all right. There we go. Not bad for the first fish in a long time. Scoop you bugs. Oh. 
There we are. Where's my pies? Check it out, guys. There we go. Nice, beautiful little. Yeah, it looks like a DFG stock. Get this bad boy unhooked. Oh, that's what I don't want you to do there, little guy. Calm down. <laughs> oh man, dude, that was cool. I literally ran up to the car really quick. Are you shaking me? Nope. Still got it in there. Let me see. Yeah. This little guy was just chilling with it. There we go. I don't have no wet hands, but I think he'll be fine. Slide him in here. He looked like he was full of fight, guys. Oh, well, that's not how I was trying to do it. Come here. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to get rebated up and get back out there, y'all. That's <laughs> on, baby. Got him, baby, on the drop. Oh, that's the first fish I've caught on a jig in so long. Wow, dude, on the drop. Oh, look at them head shakes. We got a shaker. He's a little shaker. Oh, no, you're decent. I mean, we're not catching freaking fish in a long time, guys. <laughs> oh my god, this fight is just awesome. I can't wait to catch a bigger one, man. I know they're out here. Let's tighten that up. Let's quit playing with them now. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, as you know, I'm a light liner. I'm using that two pound. Actually, no, this is a three pound P line. Uh, what's it called? Floral clear. That's the one. Skim you across here, buddy. I think you can go on the rope. Oh, whoa, we almost lost him there. Oh, net job, not that good. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I told you guys, man, I am rusty. Oh, dude. How pretty this one is. Right there on the good old faithful half a stanko, baby. Where's the pliers? Let me get the pliers really quick, buddy. Ugh, it's been so long, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, y'all. <laughs> No, I'm just joking, right? It's just like riding a bike, y'all. You don't forget. <laughs> Ooh, baby. This one's pretty, too. Them pretty, pretty gold colors on them. That's another little DFG stock, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, whoo, 
two nice little ones, guys. And I'll tell you what, it's been quite a while since I've been on the water. So it feels good just to feel that tug on the line, baby. But uh, that's enough talking. We're going to get this bad boy on the stringer. We're going to get back to it, y'all. Huh, so on, baby. All right, guys. So I went ahead and switched colors. You know, I went from that uh, watermelon seed to this new color. It's actually like a white like a clear with some glitter on one side i picked this one up from bass pro shop so we'll see man i've never really did too well with white but oh my god oh god guys i changed my mind we got something decent here oh wow first cast with that dude no way Oh, you tiny little guy. Put up a nice little fight, though. Felt decent. <laughs> oh, man. That's how you guys know I haven't been fishing in a while. Wow, though, dude. First cast with that new color. Wow, dude. <laughs> I don't even care how big these fish are, man. For not being fishing in about six months. This is just amazing. <laughs> oh man dude this little tiny guy hit like a freaking freight train dude check him out guys right oh here. dang man oh you know what buddy you're gonna be a good little pan fry so i'm not really worried about it but let me get that color i was talking about before uh this fish rudely interrupted me Calm down, Gene. All righty. So here it is, guys. This is the new little color I picked up from Bass Pro Shops. It's a little bit up on that side because I just got it with the pliers, but... I don't know if you guys can see too well. It is very, like, overcast and foggy right now. But on this side, we have just a plain white. And then this side, we have a clear, like a silver, silver uh, glitter. And this is the Bass Pro Shop Sticko brand, guys, right here. This is not the Stanko. I have not been making Stanko worms. Um, there's a reasoning behind that, guys, but... Right now, we're fishing. We'll get into that a little bit later. But, dude, this little guy. This freaking little guy, man. You know what? Just because he hit it that hard, guys, we have to put this little dude on the stringer, y'all. <laughs> All right. We're going to put this guy on the rope, and we're going to get back to it, y'all. That hunts on, baby. All right, guys. So, as you've seen, that last little Senko got a little torn up. That was my doing. Uh, you know, you could just pinch the hook and pull it out. You won't really mess up your worm that much. These worms are very, very durable. But, uh, I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> That's what I mean by how old these worms have just been. They're all crushed in. They've just been sitting in the bottom of my box, dude. Just like all those cast masters that I had for years that I never used until my boy Frank the Tank Slayer told me, Dave put one on well today i was sitting here fishing i'm throwing the green pumpkin throwing the watermelon seed as you guys seen i got that one on the drop with the watermelon seed but it just really got slow and i was thinking you know looking at the conditions around if you guys are familiar with the uh, lake mcswain that's the damn wall right there you really can't see it too well so Pretty foggy, pretty overcast, but uh, that's what the packaging looks like. 
of the Bass Pro Shop stick o worms. Uh, this one doesn't have the color on it anymore. Right. Here's going to be an overall look of it. Me personally, I like to use a little pointed end first, but both ends will work. That's enough talking. I'm going to get this thing rigged up. Let's get back to it, y'all. Got him, baby. That's right. Oh, I missed him at first. Missed him at first. Okay, guys, I think I found a new good color. A new uh, favorite color here. Oh, maybe it's just this condition. Either that or maybe I just found my rhythm again. Ooh, baby. That's right. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. oh no, 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 no. Don't go into that. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, yeah. This one's got some really nice colors to it, guys. Check that out. Uh, ooh, I'll tell you what, man. These fish aren't big. Ah. But they sure are pretty. Well, looks like he has to go on the stringer and brought a piece of his jaw out with us. So far, three on the string, and uh, I got two extra. I got two free for the beasts. So let's get back to it, y'all. go baby that's a oh yeah oh yeah there we go you go ahead and run buddy yeah baby i think we got a real good decent one here he's a runner oh no don't spool me do not spool me please Oh man, I know you guys see that. Come on, I'm gaining on him. I'm gaining some line on him. Let's see. By the way, he took off like that. Oh, and that splash, I'm saying we're, we're pushing like a three. 
it's got to be at least like a two and a half, three pounder. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, trout hunters, baby. We hunt them down. Oh, yeah. I seen that fin, baby. Come on now. Keep that pressure on him. Got to keep that pressure on him. Oh, yeah. He's just chilling. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, he's fat. Go ahead. You run, bud. You run. I got time today. Come on, baby. He does not want to come up on me. Come on. Oh, he's gonna make a run for it. He's got a lot of fight in him. Oh, that's a that's a beast, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. I should probably try to walk him off this dock. There we go, gotta walk him off this dock. No, no, uh, we're not walking him off this dock. He's coming in right here. Yeah, baby trout hunters boy yeah oh boy oh oh yeah oh yeah ah. That's a way to start off your day right there, baby. That's right, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm thinking he's about five, six. Woo! Ah! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Woo, that was one heck of a fight, guys. Woo, I ain't been fishing in about six months. First video for you guys right there. Had to start it off with a banger, baby. I told y'all, when that hunt's on, it's on, baby. Look at the girth on him. Look at that. Yeah, that's a fish for you, boy. Woo! Whew. All right, guys, let me show you what I got him on. All right here, still in the net, baby, still in the net, tried and true. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Uh, right there. Uh, right there in that white Senko, baby. Whew. All right, everybody, so that's gonna be it for me for the day. As you guys seen, I had a blast out there on the water. Um, I do know that I mentioned, I was gonna explain why I wasn't making the Senko worms anymore uh, later on in the video, but I'm pretty sure the beginning of the video covered that. I just wanna say uh, thank you for all you guys sticking with me. You know what I'm saying? All you guys true viewers out there, all you true subscribers. Um, like I said though, man, I'm sorry that I ghosted on you guys pretty much, man, but I've just been, 
trying to focus on the family basically and just get everything in my life situated and fishing really wasn't mm, like a, a main thing in my head right now you know what i mean it doesn't pay the bills as much as i would like it to <laughs> but uh just just know guys that hunt is back on and expect more content to be posted from me um i can't wait to hear what you guys got to say in the comments you know what i mean i just recently got able to get back into my youtube account and my instagram account and i'm just now viewing all your guys' messages and you guys are awesome and you guys are really supportive i appreciate everybody worrying about me and wondering where i've been and stuff and i'm good you guys you know what i mean i really appreciate all of that and also i want to apologize because i'm not sure if the audio might be a little you know shoddy on your guys's end but i do know that it's shoddy on mine and i think that might be due to the phone that i'm using you know what i'm saying but like i said just expect more content from me you guys i am out there and that hunt is going to be on so if you guys don't want me at your spot you better blur out them background photos baby ha <laughs> till the next hunt y'all i'm out